Within this lesson, I want to dive deeper into how to output content. Uh, so even if we've got array content, how to output it as JSON uh, using PHP. So again, I'm not going to dive too deeply into PHP coding, uh, but just talk about the essentials. So with PHP, there's actually a way to take array data. So if I have something called array, and uh, this is how you set up arrays in PHP. Uh, so I've got an array and So I'm going to make this array similar to the actual output that I have up here. So I'm going to have a user and actually I should have first name and then first name is going to attach to Jack. and then do the same thing multiple times. And it's just because I'm using first name down there. John. It's actually going to be an array within an array. So we'll just try this out. And essentially, uh, so we've got our array values here. And we're actually going to do an array within an array. So we need to set a key value. So it's going to be user 1. and this is going to contain contents of an array and then that array is where we're going to hold all that information and maybe I'll just copy this over just to save some time so user 2 or I should do user 4 and John so it's a, our typical array so something similar to what we have up here and now instead of using echo, because this is going to be in an array format, uh, we need to output it as a JSON format. So I try to do it uh, JSON encode so that it does come out in a JSON format. And we'll have to definitely check this before we call into it with our JavaScript just to make sure our format is coming through properly. Uh, so it looks to be okay. And I'm just going to go over to this validator just to make sure that we're valid within our JSON. So we are valid. Uh, refresh this. And in fact, it is working. Uh, so that's how you get array data. So a little bit more complex. Uh, so arrays within arrays. Um, but that's essentially how we pull out array data and we can format it within a JSON format and echo it out in PHP. So this is something that you can actually create when you're looping through database information uh, and loop through it and output it within this type of format. And then of course, if I've got last name here and so on, I could just add those within that array. So if I had something like last name, and Lawson. So in all of this, uh, all of these items in the array, so what did I have, John Smith. And I'm going to also output uh, those last names there. change that to last name. So hopefully this, uh, and I'm going to comment this one out so it's not uh, confusing the out output code. Uh, so hopefully now we should, we're actually not getting the last name for some reason. Uh, so see what happened here. And we could take a look and see what that object information is. So we're not actually getting that last name. So that might be because I didn't save the PHP. <laughs> so there we go. We can see now we're getting the last names. Uh, so we're not actually removing out that current content in there. So I do definitely want to, want to do that. So just blank out that inner HTML and 
uh, this is how you can create dynamic uh, content within PHP and output it as JSON content. Let's take another look at that and so we see that it is properly formatted as JSON. And that means that we can access it via Ajax and call it into our JavaScript.